and run with it. Tell everybody you know to come with it. Truth with a capital T. Rappers get done with it. Not just the pagan ones. I'm talking about the safe ones who rap about smacking down demons. You know they ain't done it. Sounds like a dumb horror flake when they try to kill a ghost with stones and sticks and a crucifix. Like it's physical. They don't get the script, so the spiritual. Rappers who cap demons are only spitting mythical. It's garbage. I've been sitting on it for too long. Christian rappers putting all this demonic rap in their song. It's an embarrassment. What a display of biblical negligence. Immaturity in the faith and spiritual arrogance. Lies from the pit of hell. Lie from your citadel. Out of their mouth into the mic. Watch them spit and yell. Satan, I rebuke you. I'll kick you with my two shoes. Blast you with my spiritual gag. You'll get a two full liar. Who do you think you are? The Messiah in Revelation 2010. Satan's tossing the fire, but not any sooner, bro. You should know that you won't send the prince of the power of the air to his funeral. So tell the truth. Bring shame to the devil, cause he's a liar too. Running game on the rebel. And the fact is, you're distracted. Plain is advocate. Drawing attention to him instead of God the matchless. So catch this. Try to let God do the rebuking like Michael. Remember the truths that Jude mentioned? Yes, first and I ain't even trying to diss. But don't be surprised if you swing your Bible and nobody gets hit. Yo, and if you ain't rapping the truth, but you're laughing at demons, the ones around are probably laughing at you. So preach the gospel and stop trying to prove that you're God's ghostbuster and the Bible is a Glock that you shoot. Wait, 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 wait a minute. For the sake of clarity, I felt it necessary to bring attention to the differing subjects and audiences of the two parts of the song, which by this break I have now made an obvious distinction. Though both are intended to provoke a Berean mentality, the aforementioned is directed to those who fall under the teacher category and are therefore worthy of a greater condemnation. The following is written to Christendom in general concerning a common mistake of lesser importance. Therefore, you may feel free to disagree. However, I do urge you to study the scriptures for yourself before assuming my stupidity. Now, as I was saying... One more thing I gotta get off my chest before I get off of the topic of this spiritual mess. Tell them what's up. The word the Bible translates as angel means a messenger, not a winged baby with a halo. The word angel is used in reference to apostles, Jesus himself, and other disciples too. But when the angel isn't from earth, they usually think that he's just a man when his message is served. They're never female, always fully grown, never children, never seen with the wings, but usually in some white linen. The halos are probably the dumbest part, the only logical explanation for the origin is Catholic art. Totally mythical, never known to be scriptural, however, it's still accepted in the church of the biblical. Just another 14, I'm almost done. Let me tell you about the cherubim and where the wings come from. The cherubim got wings, it's not strange though, they never deliver messages, so they're not angels. The seraphim got six, and then Isaiah one speaks to him, the only time they're seen in the scripts. So to me, it's totally obvious. In heaven, the cherubim are the priests and the angels are the prophets. The seraphim may be that rare breed that can be both like Jesus, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel. But demons and angels ain't the point of this song. If it was, it'd be silly for it to be this long. I thought somebody had to say something. If not, the populace would continue to walk in silly assumptions. So I wrote this in the hopes of provoking kids to study the script.